the time has come to start working on this joint collaborative collab collabor collaboration that's the word for it between my channel and another's where we are going to actually see what carburetor modifications are truly worth on the flow bench <music> Okay, so what are we doing here? Well, we are going to test to see exactly what carburetor modifications are worth. And I actually have tangible results, like actual figures, you know. Yeah. Because me, myself, and I are joint collaborating with another channel, Joseph Nowak, where he, you know, he, he's got flow bench. Together, we are going to figure out exactly what carburetor modifications are worth. And what, am, what do I mean by that? Let me show you. Now, what you're staring at is just a plain Jane, about as basic as it gets, stock configuration 600 Holly. Uh, vacuum secondary, obviously. No, you know, no pump shot there. This is as basic, bare bones a carburetor setup as you could possibly get. Still even got the choke on it. So, we flow tested this, and here's the numbers. That is what that carburetor flows, completely stock the way it is, with a stock base plate, too, 600 base plate. We're not going to modify that this video. Today, we are going to work on the actual main body, right? Starting the typical process of what, you know, any gearhead would do. We're going to take off the choke horn and kind of, you know, just soften up the overall entry, entryway, right? That's what we're going to do now. Okay. Wind. So, after doing that, we are going to send the carburetor back to Joseph, and he is going to flow it again. And we will get a tangible result, you know, one way versus the other. What did it do? Where did it pick up? You know, did, you know, how much did it pick up by, right? That kind of stuff. Would you quit creaking? Okay, that's... I'm trying to make a video here. Just things never work out that way. Any hoozle. So yeah, that's what we're going to do now. My plan, just to start with, like I said, let's take off this choke tower and kind of just radius some of this stuff up and just make the overall entry a little nicer right is basically my goal then like i said we're going to send it back he's going to flow it again and you will get to see him flowing it on his channel so make sure you go to his channel keep an eye out for it because like i said this is a collaboration right i'm doing you know this work he's doing you know the more important work actually seeing what the heck I managed to goof up or improve, right? Okay, so how how to get the choke tower off? Generally speaking, guys would just chuck this up in a mill. Oh, ain't got one of them. So I guess we're just gonna have to improvise. All right, first things first, we gotta get this actual choke plate off of here somehow. Which, just by looking at it, I can tell. I think this is the right way to go about it. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yep. 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 Just like that. Okay, good. And then, yep. Boom, check that out. And just already it looks way nicer than it was. Actually, there is a ridge. You see that? Oh, wow. Yeah, there's a massive ridge around that Venturi. Huh. Wow. Well, we'll probably have to address that at some future point. Okay, now... The rest of it. Let's see here. Alright, I think 
this will probably work all right. One down, one to go. And there goes that one. And if you're curious to see what this carburetor was, it's right there. Alright, now, clearly my cuts weren't that, you know, precise. But that's okay, because I just needed 90% of it gone. So now we're going to come back and uh, fine-tune all this. Alright, here we are. Kind of all nice and tidied up a little bit. Now, that's usually where people kind of stop with this stuff. We're going we're gonna to go a few steps further for this one. You know, something I never hardly see, I mean, once in a while, but hardly ever see anybody do when they chop off this choke tower, is port it. I mean, what it only makes sense, right, to flare out the edges. See? See that? You don't usually see that. I, every once in a while I'll see one, but it's, it's not... It's common. Most people just kind of leave it like this. It does, I mean, look how much meat you have there to actually, you know, radius all this stuff out. So I'm going to do this to that side, and then we're going to uh, work on this side here. And there we go. Nice radius entry right in there. This is basically a mini velocity stack right in the front here. So as far as the primaries are concerned, that's not too bad. That's pretty good. Although, I think I'm actually going to come and radius this stuff, too. Um, just, just like the very tips of these. Before we move on to this side. Uh, is there anything else I can see, really? Not really. I think I just want to radius this. And we're going to save the bait boosters here for another, another time. We're going to leave the boosters alone for this one. We're just going to modify the top this this stuff and uh the base plate next video we'll do the base plate then we're going to send it in and uh have them flow it then we'll mess with the boosters once we get it back and do another installment of you know seeing what we can do to make this thing flow better okay but let me finish this up quick then we'll move on to this side man yeah, see there what i mean just kind of you know got rid of just just tapered it a little bit, right? All right, perfect. That side is now finished for the most part. Uh, yeah, quite the far cry from what we started with, huh? Now, what to do about this side? I think I want to take this sharp edge, and I'm going to pull that back just like I did up here, right? And probably... Yeah, yeah, probably up into here as well. You're going to do the same thing here that I did over there. I am not going to touch this, I don't think. Uh, I don't think I'll touch that. I'm going to come and do this back edge here. So basically just kind of all the way around there, right? I don't have a whole lot of material here like I'd like to have, but we'll make do. We will make do. Alright, here's the finished product. Check it out. It actually looks pretty good. Alrighty, here's what we got. So you can see, I went around, radiused the edges, and I actually came and I radiused the, uh, oh, the air cleaner ring here too. And I actually incorporated it, if you can see, down into the corner there of that radius. 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 Yeah, that's the word for it. So, I did the best I could back here, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, could go further, but I think that's probably fine. Uh, especially since the hole's here. Right. I mean, taking it way back here is not going to do too much at this point. So, I think that is it. I think this is as far as we're going to go with the actual main body. Like I said, we still got stuff to do with the base plate itself. Um, 
as far as you know uh radiusing the uh, butterflies and uh, uh, the uh, throttle shaft and all this and that but as far as the main body there it is you know take you know take the comparison before and after because it is quite the dramatic change I'll tell you what neat ah the sunshine and cooped up in there for like an hour doing all this so like I said we'll work on the base plate next but you know what take your guesses right because after the base plate this is going back to joshua no uh, uh noack you know his channel right make sure you go there subscribe and stay up to date with this whole project all the flowing you know because he's going to flow this he flowed it before we have the numbers for it and once he gets his back and reflows it then he'll have a video of flowing it before and after you know up on his channel uh you want to see the actual you know the porting getting done on this channel but to see the flow flowing of it and his reaction to it you gotta go to his you know it's that's the whole part of cooperative you know collaborations right but yeah pretty nice like i said i you know a lot of people just mill the choke tower down and just call it a day i feel like you know you gotta do the rest of it too right or maybe I should have not done that and then just done the rest of it after he flowed it once and see what this radiusing everything out accomplishes. Nah, no, it's nobody would have wanted to see that. Crazy. All right, so that's it for this video. We'll uh, do the base plate next, next time. Then the exciting bit happens where we actually get to see tangible results of our efforts but until then catch you next time